Hello everyone, Berserker okay here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Um, playing as the Uyghur uh, Nomad. So, um, actually last time uh, when I stopped recording and I wanted to just save my game and, uh, you know, quit the game. What happened is the game crashed, right, when I was trying to save it. So, uh, basically, I had to uh, use one of the auto saves and just restore the game and just basically do the same things. And, and so I did, so we're back at pretty much the same spot. It was the 6th of July, I think, so I just missed like two days, but whatever. I, I did pretty much the same thing that I uh, did. It was like two years, like the autosave was like two years um, prior to the point where I stopped, like, uh, where I stopped recording. Uh, so so it's fine, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, it's fine. I, I just restored everything. I, I did everything the same way, so uh, yeah, just looted this one and... Uh, now I'm looting this one and we're back at the same date, so uh, that's fine. It's not a big deal. So I'll just keep uh, looting this thing and uh, see what we can do. Probably not gonna be uh, too much. Not gonna give me too much gold. And we gotta keep pillaging. We gotta keep pillaging. And actually, it's, yeah, there you go. That was exactly what I was um, gonna talk about. I wanna move my. No, uh... oh, that's a horrible trait. I want to move my marshal there, so, um, you know, because I'm pillaging, that raises my, um, that raises my revolt risk every time I, I, I pillage the land, so, uh, you know, I, I gotta keep my marshal there to, like, oh, really? That guy just crushed the, the rebellion himself? Okay, that was not great. Whatever. And now I gotta start sieging from the very start. Now it's kinda dumb. Whatever. What I want to do in this episode, since I I, I want to do something more uh, interesting, yeah, whatever. I'll join your war. Oh, it's actually that was exactly what I was gonna talk about. What I wanted to do is I wanted to do an invasion war, um, and uh, I just want to let my population grow a little bit to the point where I can de declare a an invasion war. So I gotta reach ninety percent of my population limit. Um, so yeah. I think this guy actually just declare war on this guy here, but he's just allied with those guys here, so I think that's why we're hostile to, the, to them. And he's actually losing the war right now. Wow, so I'm going too well for him. Okay. Um, let's see if I can build something. Nine gold, not too much. If we can get some prisoners though, that would be really cool. Um, Let's do... Nice, temper's a good trade. I like it. Um, let's do this one. This one is actually really good. Gives me Nomad Tax plus Supply Limit um, everywhere. So, that's really good. Yeah, Global Winter Supply Limit. So, just for the winter, but that's when the Supply Limit's low. So, that's when you need the Supply Limit. Now, let's see here. Do they have any army? No, they don't. So, let's pillage it once again. Actually, if I keep pillaging, that's going to raise my um, population limit, population cap, but it's fine. I'm going to level up cavalry, because we don't need those two. Siege equipment's useful, shipbuilding, don't really need that. And basically, the only three things that are useful are military organization, siege equipment, and cavalry. And, uh, you know, we don't have any infantry uh, being a nomadic faction, so that's fine. And um, basically, I wanted to declare a war on like this guy and just do a, just do an invasion war. He's my ally. He's actually my tributary, but like I don't really care about it too much. I'm gonna lose 50 prestige. Big deal. So uh, yeah, why not? What I also wanted to do is I wanted to convert to just normal Zoroastrian and not be Manichaean anymore. So let's do that. See what's gonna happen. I'll pause the game. See if my children are gonna convert as well. Uh, so yeah, the clan members are gonna adopt our religion as well. So they're both gonna be Zoroastrian now instead of Manichaean. Oh no, this one didn't. He's my vassal, so I should be able to demand conversion. I cannot do it though. That's interesting. So apparently, when playing a Zoroastrian. You cannot demand religious conversion to people. You can only adopt, like, heresies. Which is kind of dumb. 
thinking about it, but I guess that's how it is. So, uh, yeah. Okay. I want my uh, daughter to be educated by someone who is not Manichaean, who's not an, like a heretic. So, uh, it's fine. Just keep, keep pillaging there. And now we're gonna get this event. So, uh, yeah, just imprison all the heretics, and I'm gonna hope that at one point people are gonna start converting, if possible. They fixed the performance a little bit as well. Uh, it's not lagging as bad. So now I'm playing at quadruple speed, and it's all lagging as bad as it used to, because it used to be really bad before. Uh, if you go above triple, it doesn't matter if, you, if I was, like, recording or not, it would just lag really bad. Um... And now it's a little bit better. Uh, they, di they did some patching and uh, they fixed the really annoying bug as well, which was the music stopped if you actually open this window here. So that's fine. Um, another heretic. Just keep imprisoning them. I don't really care. I'm so powerful at this point. Nothing really bad can happen to me unless like a bunch of factions declare war on me. Like a subjugation war, like a holy tangri war or something. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's not really that bad. I need some more land for my clan as well, because this guy's got seven. I've only got four. I have no idea how that happened, but um, definitely do need to equalize things a little bit. Um, yeah, this is another castle here. I'm not going to get too much money. I need to lose some cities. See if I can uh, build something else now. Horse breeder... Let's get that one. A little bit of extra morale would be a little would be helpful, you know. How much population do I need to actually declare an invasion war? Should be about like I don't know, like 12,000, 13,000 somewhere in between, I think. Doesn't tell me exactly what percentage of my population that is. Which would be useful, because that's, you know, how I can declare a, uh, invasion war. So it would be nice if it actually, uh, showed me the percentage. But yeah, you can see that I need to have 90%, uh, population. Like, 90% of my population cap. It's going up. It's not that fast, though. Even though I'm not, like, replenishing troops or whatever. It's not going up that fast. It would be better... Um, if it did, but whatever. Anything else that I can do? Restore the high priesthood. Yeah, that's if I form the Persian Empire. Let's see what the Persian Empire is. Yeah, doesn't look like I'm gonna be doing that anytime soon. Yeah, I've seen this event before. I can become a Saoshent, whatever that is. Um, but again, I gotta control, like, a bunch of things if I wanna do it. Duchies and stuff like that. These are all duchies, aren't they? And then I need to have a lot of piety as well. Uh, that was my, uh, chancellor. Let's get another one. They're all Manichaean, man. That's, that's not good. Yeah, it's more useful being a general. I saw his modifiers, they weren't too bad, so. Should be able to pillage again, so let's do that. Wow. 5% for each burn the land modifier. Oh well, that's fine. Not a big deal. Man, I, I, I did a lot of looting. That is actually pretty cool. We can go somewhere else. Yeah, let's demand conversion. Oh, reconversion? This guy? He is, yeah, let's... Try and convert him. So he should he should convert now, right? Yep, he did. I think. Uh, my son's of age, so that's really cool too. Uh, he became a misguided warrior. I'm a misguided warrior. Ah, uh, that that's not the best. I should have changed his like ward, like his guardian. Um, just so he can get like a better. A better trade. Yeah, the misguided warrior is not great. But he's gregarious, he's humble, he's kind, and he's temperate. All those are positive, so why not? Let's try and find him a wife now. Let's see here. Um, she is my 
We can actually marry him to my daughter? That is weird. That is just really weird. Game usually doesn't allow you to do that. Oh, I actually imprisoned my wife for being a heretic. <laughs> that's that's kind of cool. Oh, whatever. I don't need more children. I have one son. Uh, I don't really need more. Although it would be really unfortunate if he died, but I, I doubt that's going to be happening. Let's try and find him a wife now. Um, I don't really care as long as she's got like good traits and stuff like that. No one that's really that good. We're looking for some genetic traits and stuff like that. Probably would be fairly nice. You know what? She's not bad. She's lustful. That's actually a good trait because he's going to be able to have a lot of kids and stuff like that. So why the hell not? Let's marry those two. And I'm going to lose 400 prestige for marrying a lowborn. Oh well, whatever. I don't care. She's got good traits. I don't, I don't mind too much. Uh, now I'm also going to send him away as a mercenary. Which I think is going to make my population go go up slower. No, it's just my manpower. Never mind. Not my population. So that that's good. Okay. Should we go back or should we just keep looting here? Let's let's go here. I don't I don't really care that much. Um settle is futile. I don't want to do that right now. And uh just keep reading. So it's gonna be a mercenary now. He's still Manichaean. Okay, so now he's turned into an experienced mercenary commander. A very experienced mercenary commander. Wow, that was fast. Let's actually go and find him. Um, he is... There he is. He's got 70 men. Well, that's not bad. It's actually... That was really fast. Because usually they start with like 20 men or something. So that's not too horrible. Didn't I find a wife for him or something? Really? I did. Why didn't they marry? Probably because I sent him away as a mercenary before they actually married. So I can't do it right now. That was sort of a mistake on my part. That's not great. Uh, can we declare an invasion war? Not yet. Okay. Just gonna wait for a little bit more. Population is growing. It's growing a little bit slower now. I was growing with uh, 34. Now it's 30. So it's not too great. I'm not gonna fight this army there. 2,000 men. Let's actually check and see how many men this guy's got. Oh, wow. I might have to recruit a few extra troops. So let's do that. Let's get some more horse archers. We can actually recruit two. So why the hell not? Let's do that. And these are like really elite troops. So it's going to be all right. And he's fighting some sort of a war as far as I can see. So, uh... His levy should go down. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be cool. Just gotta wait for my population to grow a little bit. And there's a city here. Which is cool. S some extra gold. I'm gonna get 13. I'm gonna destroy a trade post as well. This should go down. Fairly easily as well. Let's pillage again. All right, and we just have one here left, and we gotta siege it or pillage it two more times. All right, that's cool. We can do that. Cleanser looking all right. Need more grazing land. Oh, because I probably gave him, like, really shitty counties. Is that it? Probably. I get it. Probably he's got like seven counties, but they're all like really shitty. So, uh, that's why he's a little bit ups upset, but whatever. I don't really care. Uh, let's go back. I don't really want to fight this guy anymore. We can actually siege those guys here. Uh, let's see how many men they've got. That's their top leash. He's got 800. 
So yeah, we can pillage a little bit. See where they've got like cities and stuff like that. Here's one. Because those are nomadic. Like they're empty. No holdings in there. So we can just siege this one. Or not. Oh, it's not kind anymore. Oh. Why am I not sieging? It's really weird. Here we go. It's a bug. That's another bug that they gotta fix. Sometimes it just refuses to like siege and stuff. Where's my other army? There he is. Let's just keep going there. Can I pillage? Yeah, I can pillage. Cool. Population's growing. It's now growing actually much faster. So that's cool. So uh, let's build something that's going to give me extra population growth. Like this one, for example. Uh, okay, so my hunting dog died. Uh, give him a proper funeral. Doesn't really matter which one you click. So. Doesn't matter. And yeah, population's growing. I'm going to get another building soon. That's going to allow me to... Uh, get my population like up faster so yeah that's fine someone actually conquered this wow that's that's impressive how do you manage to do that with a shitty supply limit now the supply limit is actually higher that they're not pagan anymore um so i might be able to do it myself they all have the same color i can't figure out which which faction is which so this one's like Kazaria. Is it like this thing? I don't know. They all look the same. You gotta fix that. This guy's Bulgar. I might actually do like a, like an invasion war. Wouldn't be too bad if I did. Cause yeah, now that he's like conquered those supply limits, not gonna be horrible. So I will be able to, you know. Um, to actually see them, and then once I do that, I'm I'm gonna do like the same with like pillaging and stuff. Let's pillage that one. Um. Okay, he has usurped some title, and now I have title lost in succession. What? Why? Wait. Why is that? Then my son just... Oh, he died. Oh, wow. That's bad. He died in battle. Um, okay. That's a little bit of a problem. That is a huge problem. Because now if I die, one of the other clans is going to inherit my title. Okay. Only thing I can do is uh, get a bunch of concubines now. And uh, try and make a male, like, trap produce a male heir. Uh, basically what I can do. Let's actually, like, uh, ransom prisoners, if possible. And then just take concubines. And he should be at least 16, uh, my son, if I want him to inherit. He should be at least, yeah, he should be at least 16. Otherwise, still the other clan members actually um, inherit. Okay. Um, yeah, that's really unfortunate. I've never had that happen before to me in my other campaigns. I've said pretty much all of my sons away as mercenaries, but I guess that happens. Um, not a big deal. Um, so my marshal is the leader of one of the other clans. Is the guy who's gonna inherit so basically what I can do is um, I can take a bunch of concubines here let's take her for example uh, just a bunch of young women that can produce children if possible um, kind of want them to be Uyghur who's that she's 36 oh well Sogdian We'll see what I can do. I can actually release my wife as well. And let's... She is 41. She can still... Yeah, she can... Yeah, she can still have children. Uh, let's do... 
let's change my focus now. Uh, let's change it to family focus and then just get more concubines as well. Should just take like random concubines. I guess that seems like a good idea. She's Karlik. She's a Muslim. Oh well, whatever. Hopefully they're not gonna kill me. Because if they want to kill me, they actually get like very high plot bar being my concubines. But I doubt that's gonna be happening. They don't hit me that much. And take her, she's 18, so whatever. Okay, that's gonna be it for this episode. And um, in the next one, we're just gonna keep our population grow a little bit. And then we're gonna do like an invasion war, uh, which is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, things are getting a little bit more interesting. I didn't expect my son to die at the age of 17 in a battle against Chief Senulat of Slavonia. Um, so uh, yeah, that's uh, interesting, making things a little bit more difficult. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.